Welcome back to the Booty Bands More Than Fitness podcast. And today we're going to learn the secret on how to burn fat the fastest, especially if you're over the age of 30. This is going to be a great one for you. Booty Bands and Barbells helps busy women sculpt and tone their bodies in just 15 minutes a day through our physical products and our one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, I'm, I turned 60 last April, so I'll be 61 this year. How many inches have you lost so far, let's say in just your waist? I want to say three or four. Besides just that, maybe the measuring, how does it feel as far as putting on clothing? And um, With the pictures, I can really see it a lot because I'm, you know, I'm every day I can look, but I can really feel my clothes loose. Um, my clothes are fitting a lot better. Everything's fitting better. I can see some, I'm starting to see some improvement in my legs, which is one of the places, you know, that I want to work on, but this works. This really works. This is the best program I've ever seen. And believe me, I've tried a lot of things. What are some things if you could point out that you will never do again? I will never be afraid to eat again. I'm going to eat and I will never do cardio like I used to because I don't have to because that took up a lot of my day and it was like a chore. It was really like a chore, something I felt like I had to do. And if I didn't, I felt so guilty. I don't do that anymore. Now I, I do, you know, the videos and whatnot. And I will never, I will never diet again. I'll never go on a diet, but I won't ever deprive myself. But my mindset's so different too. It's like, I won't fall off the wagon and just stay that way. If I have a bad day, it's okay. I'll get right back on it the next day because I don't want to lose everything I've gained. And I know it will work. So I, I'm motivated and I know it will work and it's okay. I got this. Amen. Ugh, that's like the best cold <laughs> chills ever. What were some of the goals that you were looking for? Uh, to tone up and to really learn how to eat and have a, a great relationship with eating because, you know, as we've discussed before, eating, you think you need less calories. And I have learned through you and this program that I need more calories and more protein. I would have never guessed that on my own. Um, it was always watch what you eat, watch your calories. You can only have this amount of food um, and running or like we discussed, I walk. So, you know, like I would walk six miles every day. And I would keep my weight down, but nothing would tone up. And if I did go to a trainer at the gym and whatnot, they would always very knowledgeable, but start, start me off too heavy. And then I would be so sore, I couldn't go back for three or four days and I would lose my motivation. And I don't know how many times I've done that over the years. It's a lot. So, yeah. and, and didn't have that, you know, you see them once a week, maybe, and depending on how many times you could go. And you didn't see them again until the next week. So you didn't know if your form was right. You know, the exercise isn't new to me, but consistency is because of this program. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, so going back to the food, it's interesting. And it's actually scary to think that if you eat more, that you would lose that weight. So explain to me why you think that's working for you as far as eating more now. Well, the one big thing is I don't, I'm not hungry. So if I'm not hungry, I don't want you know, bad snacks like candy and that sort of thing, which, you know, we go to. Um, and I can actually see the results with eating more. And, you know, it's, it's you know, I, I smile when you send me a text going, Betty, you need to eat more today. And I'm thinking, I'm full. I don't want any more. But I know I have to do that. And, and it's always proven to work and the inches are going down. You know, I can see that I have had an injury as we both. Turning 61. And if you could talk to us about the metabolism. What have you noticed about your metabolism through the ages all the way up till 61? Um, slow. And, and I think it, you, you feel like, you know, and it gets in your head from trainers, as you age, you lose so much a percent of your body, you know, your body fat and your metabolism slows down. And then they, you know, the m mindset was you eat less, but that's not true. And you have totally taught me a new way to eat. Because at 60 or 61, you can lose weight, just like you said, and you eat more and the metabolism has revved up. So my metabolism, is, my metabolism is fine. I'm, you know, at 60 or 61. So that's not holding me back from meeting my goals. Um, but I always thought it did because um, I wasn't doing it right. I wasn't eating the right things and I was slacking off on calories and um, not eating very much. And I've increased my water over the last maybe five years. but that still, that wasn't enough. I needed food and I yeah. needed not to be hungry. Yeah. 
what would you say are the three things that you thought before that are now myths to you now? Um, I thought I needed to walk five or six miles, five or six days a week. Um, and I thought I needed to eat less, not thinking I needed that much protein because I associated that with bodybuilders. And that's not true. So now I know I need to eat more. I need to incorporate the uh, protein. And I don't have to walk five or six days a week to get the results. I, that won't do it. I have to use, you know, I have to do the bands and I have to use weight training and weight resistance, even if it's my own body weight. Yeah, absolutely. So let's talk about this injury because I know that someone that's listening right now on the call, you know, maybe somewhat similar shoes in you where they're a little older and they have possibly an injury and they're just feeling that it's very hopeless to obviously reach their goals. So what are something that you could tell them or suggestions for them? Um, I would say, don't give up, you know, when everyone always tells us that be consistent, but it, when I first got the injury, I thought, Oh no, I just started this. Um, but you worked me through it. You know, we worked through it. And we're like, okay, what can we do? You modified what I couldn't do and what I could do. And, you know, when, as I started feeling better, I was more consistent with those exercises. And I will say that it did help me with my balance. Cause when you have one of your limbs, that's not working well, you are off balance and you have to depend on the rest of your body to even sit down and stand up. So it really helped me. Um, it's really taught me that, yes, I do need to be stronger. And, and also I had a meniscus injury years ago. So my knee is getting stronger with the knee exercises as well with the squats and using weights. And um, because I thought I'm never going to be able to do a squat and, but they're getting better. You know, I think that they, I think that they are getting better. I feel like my knee's getting stronger. So that's yeah. what I would say. Don't give up. <laughs> That's really inspiring, you know, for those that are listening in. And I really appreciate that, Betty, as you have tremendously had a great shift and so far a phenomenal transformation and really starting to see that metabolism working for you rather than against you. It's burning that for you, burning that fat for you. And, and with less effort, you're not having to walk those five or six miles a day, you're saying, you know, and so eating more, you know, it's so interesting as we are definitely hearing the opposite of that usually. So thanks for sharing that. Um, what are some things in when you signed up for the program that you wanted to, in order that you wanted to be able to reach your goals, for example, like you wanted it to be easy. You wanted it to be with no restrictions or you wanted to have that support. What are some things that you were looking for? Um, well, those were all the things because, you know, when you, uh, in my experience, when you start a program, they have you on a very regimented diet. You can have this. They take everything away. You did not do that. You're like, okay, what do you eat? And I started losing weight with even the things that I did eat and, you know, a few adjustments and tweaks here and there. Um, and then as I've gotten stronger and my diet's gotten better, then we, you know, we've added a few things here and there like, okay, more protein. It's like, no, Betty, you can't have bacon. You can have bacon, you know, just not as much. And if I have too many carbs, well, that's fine, but put a protein in there with it. So I think that for the program, it started me out like I, I that was good for me. Because you didn't take anything away. You let me do it at my pace and you work me through it week by week. And then we had a phone call and then we talked about how it went. Um, and I didn't have to, it wasn't stressful. It was not stressful. It was, it was just a progression that was good for me of all the years of saying, okay, you can't have that. You can't have that. Oh, you had too much of this. Um, and you didn't take anything away. And I've eaten pretty much everything I want to. And, I'm, and it's keeping me satisfied. So that's my, for me, I need to stay satisfied and not hungry. Yeah, uh, it's awesome. That's tremendous. And um, for those that, maybe if there's somebody that's listening right now and they're hearing that and they're, they're thinking that, you know, the only thing they've ever followed before was the strict, restrictive, no carbs, no sugar, et cetera, et cetera. What is, uh, what is something that you would tell them as far as that strict way of doing it before? Um, I wish I would have known this a long time ago. <laughs> Um, there, that re restrictive way and then exercising and, um, you know, on the treadmill or whatever, or outside walking, I just didn't have the personal one-on-one -on -one that I needed. Um, I would tell them that you can absolutely have your potatoes or rice or whatever it is that, that, that you like and everything in, you know, moderation. And if you get that protein in every meal, like you tell us to, um, you're not going to be hungry. You're going to be more satisfied. And you've had everything on that plate that you want. Um, you have your vegetables and your salads and 
you can go out to restaurants and you can choose a meal and you learn to make better choices with this program when you are out and you're like, okay, what am I going to have to eat? So that's been really good. You, you don't have to restrict yourself at all. That's what I would say. And I could never say that about a diet before. Wow. So w- w- talking about that, what are some of the other programs that you've tried in the past that have failed you? Um, well, Weight Watchers was always a fun one, um, you know, because Weight Watchers never really teaches you. They tell you what to eat, but they never teach you how to eat. And I think there's a big difference. Um, and it's just not realistic to think that you can eat that way your whole life. And then you end up, you get off the plan and you gain the weight back. With this plan, you're not going to weigh or gain the weight back or, you know, gain the inches back because you know how to eat and you know how to make good choices. And if you have a off day, it's okay. You just go back on it the next day and keep on moving. It's going to be fine. You were, you were telling me about the very first uh, program you ever tried that was kind of like in fitness. Oh yeah. Elaine Powers. And if somebody's in my age group, I bet they remember Elaine Powers. It was like the new thing for women's health. And they, I mean, they had the right idea, but it was just very elementary and very novice. It's like of an approach. You sit down on these machines and you twist back and forth. And I think they had the belts that you would put around your, your booty and your waist. And that was supposed to shake the, the fat off of you. Um, And again, people were in the facility, but not really showing you how to use it or having a mindset of how to eat and how to go along and what it was for. It was just like a a gym, you know, basically for women. Got it. Yeah. So what would you say is the difference between then and versus now, as far as where the growth of women's health and fitness has become? Uh, Definitely weight training and learning and having a good coach and learning how to use your body weight. If you don't use weights, that's okay. If you're not strong enough, there's a, you can use bands, you can use um, whatever you have available in your house. The mindset there's way different than it used to be years ago about eating. It's just such a different way of thinking um, for the whole program to eat. Eat, yes, eat, I want you to eat. So, you know, when I look at the text and go, oh, I'm, I'm not eating enough, I can't believe this. Are you sure? So, and not that I doubt you, but it's always like, oh, I don't know if I can eat a bunch, but I do it anyway. I just say, okay, well, I'll eat more. And it always works. It always works. And with the holidays, I gained a couple of pounds because I don't get on the scale all the time. But the weight with the weight and the muscle, and like we said, muscle weighs more than fat. So how I look and how I feel my clothes is way more important how that scale looks because I was always driven by the scale. I'm not so much driven by the scale anymore. It's how you feel and how you look in your clothes, because that's really what you're trying, the goal you're getting to anyway. You want to look better, feel better, losing weight's just a byproduct of it all. Yeah, I think one belief or uh, that I've been able to really see as far as that women have is they want to lose the weight and then they want to tone up. I would say for the first time in my whole exercise career is what I'm going to say, um, that I have learned that you can't do one without the other. You don't do one first and then the other because you can, you want to tone that muscle as you're losing the weight. Why would you want to lose it all and then have all that to tone up? And then you're, then you're not strong and you don't feel good anyway, I don't think, because you're hungry because you've lost, you know, if you're not eating right and whatnot, but it all, it all goes together. What were some of your biggest struggles beforehand? I would go to the gym and lift too heavy and then I couldn't go back for days. And then I would try it again the next week, but then that's not consistency and you're not even making it to the gym three days a week and then you just kind of lose interest and think I'm not going to do it I don't know your motivation it just isn't there one of the other things was I think the eating the biggest thing was the eating I didn't really know how to eat you know I read what was it shape magazine for a hundred years it seemed like and I was like okay I can do all of this but you know I'm it's just not working but this works this really works this is the best program I've ever seen. And believe me, I've tried a lot of things. Not, you know, and again, because it's just a whole different mindset. You know, it's like, oh, well, and it worked. I can drink that shake for a snack. And that's okay because it works and it kept me pretty satisfied till I had my next meal. Hmm. So I love it. That's awesome. And what would you say are the biggest wins so far in being in the Booty Bands and Barbells Accountability Program? Well, the biggest wins for me is shortly after I started, I got a broken arm and I'm still winning, (laughs) you know, so I, 
it, it taught me it's like and I, there must have been a reason for that so it's like it taught me yeah you have a broken arm but you still can do this you can still lose inches and I did because I wasn't so sure I have to tell you when I broke that arm I thought oh my gosh I'm not going to lose inches you know I might st have a good mindset but I just this is going to throw me off track but it didn't and that's because of you and you know you you did the videos with me and you seen what I can do and what I couldn't do and you're like okay well if you can't do this let's do this um and that really, that really helped me so much because I was, uh, I was so discouraged when I broke my arm and I couldn't hardly move. Um, but that was really helpful. And I don't know if I hadn't had, I wouldn't have done yet if I hadn't had you. So um, I appreciate it. So you kept me going. So the biggest thing is my challenge was my injury right out of the gate, practically. I don't think I've been doing booty bands, but maybe two or three weeks, I think. Um, but I've still lost weight. My still my clothes are still getting loose and my, my waist and my bottom's going down. So I win. Uh, some people might be a little scared that the booty bands and barbells program is going to break your arm. No, booty bands didn't break my arm. I was, I'm a school nurse right now. So I was walking out of the cafeteria with a student and I slipped with my heel, my right heel on a piece of pineapple and right flat, to, you know, I slammed right down on my left arm. When you have a, something like that happen in your life, it can be very hard. It can be really hard as you're on a mission and you're on something and I could feel that frustration because I've been there too. And I think a lot of those that are listening, you know, there's going to be those roadblocks that come in your life. And what was really cool is Betty had a moment and she, a moment in time when that happened, it was either stop what I'm doing or continue with what I'm doing. And what was great is sometimes when life throws something at you, we just took a little bit of that turn and kept going. And she still had amazing results even with that injury. And so that was really cool to see that. And what an inspiration, Betty, you truly are, not only with your age, but on top of that, with an injury, it just, it, it's really showing that people have no excuse when they really are starting to do something that's speeding the metabolism, focusing on a program that's that sustainability. So I thought that was really cool. And I just wanted to say, I commend you for your higher self for showing up Regarding that, eating more and throwing away your scale and doing something that's really contradictory to everything that you from for, you know, probably 40 years of your life have been trained to do. How are you able to get through that? And how could you help another woman if she's listening right now? Um, I would say just try, you know, just give it a try and be committed because we all know what, what we want our goals to be. So, you know, I think that for the first time ever in my whole life, I'm committed and I would just tell them it consistency is true, but you have to have the right partner and the right pairing to help you with that consistency um, and coaching. And um, I think it's very good for me. You know, the conversations are good. They're direct, but they're caring and they're nurturing and they're not judgmental. And you get and you work with people at their level, you know, and, and you worked with me at my level. There's some things I can do. There's some things I still can't do, but I'm still able to get results and do things and then still continue to improve and, and march through and get better at everything else. So I would tell them that, yes, you can. And I would have to have said maybe a couple months ago, I would have said, oh, I can't do this. I see all what those girls do. I can't do it, but you can, and you can do it at your level. That's why there's modifications. We're not all meant to do, to do the same things. Mm -hmm. But we're all meant to succeed if we put our mind to it. There's a lot of uh, women that are in their, you know, 60s. And what they would do is they'd probably look at a program like this where I'm more closer uh, to 40s. And they might say, well, you're not in your 60s yet. So how, how would you really know it would work? All my life, it's like, all I want to do is be toned and fit and feel good about how I look. And if you really, if you're really committed and you really mean it, because you would, you would think this is for all younger girls and it's not for anybody older. It's just for, you know, 20, 30, 40, whatever. Um, can you think, oh, I've just, never mind. I'm just too old. I can't do this. I'd say absolutely not. Yes, you can. And you have, but you have to be committed yourself. You, you have to work with your coach. You have to listen to what they say. And if you're not committed, it's because you have to take an internal look and say, why am I not? What's holding me back? Why am I not doing this? And you have to make up your mind that you can do it because once you start seeing results, and that's always where I fell short, if you don't start seeing results, then you quit. But if you just can stay committed, we'll just say for four weeks, you're going to see results and be true to yourself and, you're in it, and it just motivates you to keep going because you're like, oh, this does work. Finally, finally.
and you don't believe it till you see it because you know seeing is believing and when you're younger and nothing ever works you're like oh just forget it i'm gonna quit but if you see results and that was always my thing once and i talked to you about this when i see results i'm gonna keep going because that's what i want that is my goal those are those are the visions i have for myself that's awesome. And just to give you even a little heads up, you guys, Betty in her first week dropped 0.5, so a half an inch in her waistline the first week, is you can do this faster by having your body start working with you rather than against you. And that's really the difference is no matter your age, no matter your fitness level, you can see here that your body will start to burn the fat from the inside out. And like Betty said earlier, combining the sculpting and toning and weight loss goes hand in hand. Yes, yeah, she can still weigh herself, but ultimately I'll never ask for that scale number. I'm just looking for the measurements to see if that the metabolism is burning the fat that we need it to. So thank you so much for that, Betty. Um, we have Betty in our, our Booty Bands and Barbells Facebook community. So if you want to ask her any additional questions after this podcast, she's in there, she's in with the women and she has had such a great transformation and she's still doing it. So if you do have any questions, you can reach out to her or to I. And just wanted to support you that if you are feeling kind of hopeless in your journey, because it can feel hopeless. I've been there. Betty's been there. That it's just like, you know, that up and down roller coaster of weight loss can just feel very lonely as you're just struggling with that yourself. And I just want you to know that you don't have to do that anymore. And there's a community here to support you with real women and real results. That's what you're really feeling on this call right now. I like to bring actual members on here that are real. You, you can see that none of this is Photoshop. This is true transformations that are happening right before your eyes. And so I just wanted to say thank you again, Betty, for your time and for coming on today. No, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I hope it was helpful. Oh my gosh, it was beyond helpful. Yep, trust yourself and trust your coach. Absolutely trust your coach because when I've wanted something or I've had, you know, you're looking in my mails and you're like, okay, well, let's just tweak this. Okay, let's tweak this, but I'm never hungry and I'm good to go. So it's okay. And I, so I'm like, whatever Danita says, that's what I'm going to do because I know it's going to work. Okay. So we're Thank good. Thank you. That was beautiful. Thanks for sharing. And uh, you keep kicking booty. Keep kicking booty uh, over there, Betty. That's right. That's right. Awesome. Wrapping up, we hope that this left you with some valuable information that you can help with improving your mind, your body, and your life. Really, we're about helping you step into your best self, and that's why we do these weekly, so that we can hear from you and how it resonated. So go ahead and write us a review, and we will pick weekly giveaways on our unique booty bands to give away. So thank you guys so much for listening. It was awesome having you on. I'm very excited to leave your review. Make sure to hit subscribe so that you can get notified on any future podcasts that come out. And of course, join the community and join the app called Booty Bands and Barbells, where you'll find us in the workouts, the meal plan, and of course, all the fun challenges. I'll see you soon, and I'll see you in the workouts.